Greeting, this is Ahmad from Global Project Control. In this lesson, we want to talk about how we can change Primavera P6 XCR file to Microsoft Project MPP file and reverse how we can change Microsoft Project MPP file to Primavera P6 XCR file. As you know, these two software connected to each other by database file formatting. But how this file formatting worked for us? As you see, you can change the Primavera p 6 xcr file to Microsoft Project MPX file or Microsoft Project XML file. And this BOSA file could be converted from Microsoft Project by MPX and XML format to the Primavera P6. These file types are accepted between these two software. So when you want to change your MPP file to the Primavera P6 XCR file, first you should do the save as to the MPX or XML format. XML format is available format by Microsoft Project directly, but for MPX after Microsoft Project 2000 version, you need to change the MPP to MPX by converter. I'm going to describe you both of these solutions. Let's do start. This is my project I created before. And as you see, I create my project for name, duration, start and finish. And also I add my activity ID over here in my text one field. So, when I want to save this file, and let me to show you this file. This is my project file. And as you see, the file format is MPP. So, how can I change it to the Primavera P6 file, I need to go to the project, save as, and find out the XML file format. Then, the project created by XML file format over here. So right now, I need to go to the Primavera P6 and import it from Microsoft Project, as I told you, XML and MPX format are acceptable format from Primavera P6. So I select XML, then select the file. Let me to select my correct location, then proceed by MSP formatting mapping. I want to notify you about some useful things. Maybe you insert the activity ID on your Microsoft Project file. So you can select activities over here. Then I select text. These are the text field. This is the text one. Let me to show you something. I insert my activity ID to the text one. So I want to Primavera P6 accept it to the text user defined field. For mapping activity ID, these two software is not accepted directly activity ID from each other. So it is good solution for you if you insert the activity ID to the Microsoft project by copy and paste, then insert it to the Primavera P6. So let's see it to be inserted. Then after that, by using the global change, you can instantly update your activity ID fields. I will show you in a few minutes. Okay, as you see, my project successfully imported. Then I close it and go to the project and open the project. 
if you go through the activity ID, you can find this is my activity ID in a Primara P6. This is my text file. This text file created by Microsoft Project User Defined Field. So I need to go to the tools, go to the global change, and write new global change. In this global change, I want to update my activity ID by text field then I push the change and waiting for the software result before p6 apply the global change show you the log like this this is the old value this is the new value then if I press the commit change all the activity ID updated based on my available new value right now I don't need any more to the text file because all the text file copy and paste to the Primavera P6 fields. So by this solution you can instantly update activity ID and insert the Microsoft project file to the Primavera P6. This is the first solution for convert but how should I convert directly this project file to the mpx file. Let me to show you the software. This is the mpp to mpx software. So you need to select the mpp file like this and the converted file will be appear over here. Then you can convert the file and waiting for convert to be completed. It just take a few minutes. That's it, my file is converted and I need to close this. This time I want to import from Microsoft Project by MPX format. So I proceed and select on this folder only I can find this file. This file has an MPX file formatting mpx format I'm going to import it to the location like previous one but for the mapping I try to add activity ID same as the previous time by text. You need to only do the mapping. As you see, my text one is inserted to the text. So, proceed and waiting for the result by Primavera P6. That's it done. Then you need to open your project. This is converted project by XML format. This is MPX format. I open it and as you see, this file need to update. But when you use MPX file formatting, you have some extra information like this. These are WBS summary. If you filter all the WBS summary over here and you delete this, you can activity type is equal to, you can find your pure file over here. In this, by MPX file formatting, Primavera P6 is going to be add another file for each level of WBS and call it by WBS summary file formatting. So after insert the file, you can create a filter by WBS summary and remove it. As you see, I remove all of these extra information 
and this is this is my pure project I need to run a global change like a previous one to add the activity ID based on this information I need to run the global change in order to update the activity ID based on my requirement like a previous one my activity ID is equal to the text then I hit the change I'm waiting for the result in this stage Primavera P6 is going to be show me the changing log according to this log these are my old value and this is my new value if I press to commit the change then all activity ID going to be changed like this and my project is completely at my hand in my Primavera P6 software I hope this lesson is useful for you also, you can visit our website www.globalprojectcontrol.com and you can find more tutorial video for Primavera P6 and Excel in categories from intermediate report spreadsheet and advanced section. If you like to take a course with Global Project Control, you can open our course list and find the, your course all the details is available over here and if you like to join us for the course you can do the registration also you can join our whatsapp or telegram group and enjoy our daily topics if you have any doubt about primavera p6 you can share your doubt with us by ask me at sign globalprojectcontrol.com I hope this lesson is useful for you please keep in touch with my LinkedIn YouTube Instagram and Facebook for further lesson also you can visit my website www.globalprojectcontrol.com in order to find all of my lesson and courses in the same time thank you for your subscription at my youtube channel